One of my favourite things to do in the garden is propagate plants and I do it all the time. Everything from native grasses to my own vegetable seedlings. But inevitably when you're propagating, you're also having to pot up lots of plants. I clear a little spot on the bench, which is a good way to do it. But truthfully, this is valuable space and I don't want to use it for that. So sometimes I do this, wheelbarrow full of potting mix and I can work up on a bench, clear off back into that wheelbarrow. It works really well. The other day, I found something that I think is going to be even better. How many of you have come across one of these at the tip shop or on the side of the road? They are really commonly chucked out. Now, of course, barbecues don't last forever and all the metal in here, the burners, they're already rusted out and have been completely removed. But this trolley is hard wood. It's really well made and I reckon it's going to make a great potting bench. The first step is to remove the old barbecue. I'll brace the trolley and remove the bolts. The beauty of this is it's often much easier to pull something apart than it is to build it. And now that can go straight to the steel recycling. I'm going to use this old hardwood to act as the framework that I'll screw that bench top too, and it'll keep this nice and square and really well braced. Now I'm going to attach it right underneath this existing bench top at the right height for the new timber to fix to. And to do that, I'm going to remove these smaller bolts, which only go in about 50 mil and replace them with those lovely long bolts that I just removed from the barbecue. clamp that second bracing timber in place and I'm just checking and giving it a technical tap to make sure that the timber finish is going to be at the same level as the existing bench. Now to make the top of the bench I've been through my scrap timber pile and I found some bits and pieces that are really durable outdoors. These are some old Jarrah floorboards that I picked up and I think that's what this trolley is made out of. And this you might recognise. This is known as Quilla or Merbu. Truthfully, I would absolutely never buy this timber new. It is really cheap and available, but I don't believe it's sustainable. But equally, it's so precious. If I ever see off cuts at the tip, I always pick it up because this stuff should never go in the bin. I'm just going to fiddle with these to make them fit, then fix them down. Same on the other side. And even up the edge. So that is essentially a good solid bench finished. But I have done this gaping hole intentionally. I've cut this on 45 degree angles and that is because I want to be able to scoop all the materials straight into that hole. But when I'm not using it, fit that piece solid as a rock. To create a good potting bench, ideally you need really easy to clean and sterile surface. So actually reusing what was the cover from the barbecue, you can see I've removed the handle here and then it is a weatherproof surface. I think it's going to make a really durable cover for me to pot on. Tap it into place. I'm just going to give it a bit of adjusting here and there. Give it go. To have a really functional potting bench, it pays to have a back and a side, which means you can scoop into this corner, put your pile of mix in the middle. Now I've made these out of some salvaged macrocarpa timber. I'll just give the whole thing a bit of a sand and there's always room for a little bit of storage. This is a 50-50 mix of linseed oil and terps, which will help protect it from the weather. I am 
pretty stoked with that. Something that was heading to the tip is now going to be one of the most used things in the garden. I'll use it every single day and I can wheel it wherever I want. And really for me, that is the most fun you can have, making something really useful out of something that was going to waste. I'd love to know what projects you're going to do next. <laughs>